row upon row upon row, like the gravestones they never received. Each miniature figure, cocooned in a shroud, represents a Commonwealth soldier killed in the Battle of the Somme, whose body was never brought home. Artist Rob Hurd has spent the last five years making each one by hand. It's an unfathomable number. It's so difficult to comprehend. Is that part of the reason why it was important for you to create all of it? I think that's the whole reason. That, 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 that's where it really came from, to physicalise a number. But I think it's important that we, we don't just remember them, that we realise that they were people, that they were people. And that's what this is about. You know, this isn't... It, it, it's a person. And one of them was 26-year-old Sidney Nicholson, who went to war with his younger brother but never came home, leaving his sibling to write to their mother with the heartbreaking news. This, Sally, is where, um, where I've spent the last five years creating these effigies. Um, so ITV News arranged for his great-great-niece to travel to Somerset to meet the artist. Sydney would have passed through my hands. Mm. You know, it's an amazing thing it is. to feel that. And that's important for the family as well, to know that someone else has held him, has thought <laughs> about him. Well, that's very kind to say. It's taken three days to lay them all out at the Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. There's a uniformity to these tiny bodies, each wrapped in a white shroud, reflecting the anonymity that cloaks the war dead. But each one, lying in a slightly different pose, is also unique, just like the young man it symbolises, an individual with a family left behind. And in some ways it almost feels like Sid is coming home again because he never got to come home. And in some small way, this is his first time back on English soil for over 100 years. And so today, Sally did just that. A century on from the end of the First World War, finally, these men, symbolically at least, are being laid to rest. Rebecca Barry, ITV News. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.